How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today, we're gonna check out a seaplane. This is something we actually don't cover much on the channel, but you guys stay tuned. Something you don't see often, a seaplane. And today I've got David here, and he's gonna show me around his plane and tell you all about it. Thanks, Mike. This is a um, mall. It's built in Moultrie, Georgia. This particular one is a M7260. The engine in it is a Lycoming I0540, 260 horsepower. Uh, fuel injected, uh, six cylinder engine. Um, I've only had this airplane for a couple of months, but we're starting to do seaplane ratings in the local area, local area being Lexington, Winston-Salem, Greensboro, North Carolina. It is a five-seater, but because of the weight of the floats, we're only able to get three people along with about an hour and a half of fuel in addition to. I flew several different types of float planes, uh, seaplanes if you will, and this one repeatedly came back in my mind and as far as the most easy to handle and the best as far as a trainer. Um, I, I really like it. There's a couple other reasons too and they might sound small, but this airplane has a door on each side, okay? So you don't sit tandem, you sit side by side, right? So when you pull up to a dock, you can get out of the airplane from either side, either pilot can, to dock so you don't run into it. That's that's one of the reasons, but really the performance of the airplane, it's considered a stole airplane. So if you're taking off from hard surface, this airplane with the floats on it can take off in three to 400 feet. It's, it's amazing how quick it comes off the ground. Off the water, we're seeing now that this airplane will come off the water in about 700 feet and about a thousand feet to clear a 50 foot obstacle, wow. which is really great performance. You know, I flew a Cessna 185 and I was really interested in that airplane as well. Um, I flew it for a weekend and when I got done, my legs were wore out tired. My arms were tired. I mean, it was a beast and you really had to work hard to control it. This thing's very docile, it's fun to fly. It's just a great flying airplane. This particular one was restored a year ago. So if you look close at it, it looks brand new, okay? Uh, it's a 21 year old airplane with brand new paint, brand new interior, windows, door latches, everything on it except for the engine is brand new. So, so I think there's eh, in business right now, three different float manufacturers. Um, these are Bauman 2750s and Bauman is now out of business, but I like the Bauman's because they're light floats. You don't lose weight with payload in the airplane, okay? So they're great floats, they're light floats. Another thing I like about the airplane are the flaps. If you look at the flaps and you see how long they are, that really helps the airplane get up off the ground, get up off the water, short field capability, right? Um, something you're probably not used to seeing on an airplane or water rudders. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of a neat idea, but they move in conjunction with the airplane rudder. So if you see why I'm doing this, the water rudders are moving in conjunction as well, right? Okay. This is something that's unusual on an airplane. You don't see this a lot. On float planes, more you see it. Uh, this is called a ventral fin and it's for stability, longitudinal stability. Um, and then we can come around this side. Not much different on this side, it's just two of everything. Um, we come over here. So this is one of the other things I really like about the ball is the cargo doors it has here, okay? So you can really load some stuff in. 
it it has a back seat. The back seat's out now. Okay. We are <laughs> my fishing rod, but hey, what can it busted, right? Okay. And then this seat will also come out as well. So everything behind the pilot seat is all cargo storage. So the interior has been totally redone on this airplane. And it's had new avionics put in, which these are glass now. And this is all glass. These are Garmin G5s. And with the G5s and this moving map in the autopilot, they consider this a technically advanced aircraft, which is a relatively new term in aviation. Um, but you would need that in order to get a commercial pilot certificate. So the training we're mostly doing, Mike, is when somebody has a certificate, uh, such as Max, he's got a private pilot airplane, single engine land. We could put him in this airplane, get him five or six hours, and he'll be ready to get his airplane single engine C rating added to his existing private pilot certificate. So that's a pretty cool dynamic. Here's the here's the map. It's still booting up and trying to find GPS. Very, neat. very clean airplane, very comfortable to people. Um, it's a really, really great airplane platform for doing what we're going to be doing. You know, one of the things I'll add too, out of Wilmington, North Carolina, the airplane will be based there half the time. We're going to be doing air tours in it. So we'll pick people up on the riverfront, take off on downtown Wilmington Riverfront, fly around the uh, North Carolina battleship, fly over the bridges, fly over the beaches, and then come back and land on the downtown riverfront and then let them back off at the pier we picked them up on. So that'll be an experience that Wilmington, North Carolina has never seen. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. I mean, it's really going to be awesome. So, so one of the things we mentioned were the missions are in this airplane, two of the things actually, is that we're going to be doing float plane ratings. The float plane rating we have set up now is going to allot six hours for the uh, customer. Five of that will be for actual training in the airplane and one hour for the test and then five hours of ground as well and then they'll be ready ready for the test we're going to have an examiner on staff hopefully by mid uh, to the end of march as well so when you come and get your float plane rating it's going to be one stop shop you do the training then we get an examiner in it's going to be a day and a half to two day course you can spread it out if you like but we're really trying to make it quick so somebody can come into town for a short weekend and do all the training they want. Additionally, we're gonna use it for uh, air tours, uh, which an air tour is usually gonna be about a 30 to 45 minute flight. Uh, we're gonna do them in this area. We're also gonna do them in Wilmington. The one that we have slated in Wilmington is gonna be about $325 for a 45 minute to an hour long air tour around the beaches and the river of Wilmington. So back and way up, when I first started looking at these airplanes, I saw several of them on sale on the internet and they come up list prices about $250,000. Um, I actually made an offer on one and that was at $225,000. The difference in it was it didn't have new paint, new interior, new windows, new latches. Uh, it did have new avionics, which made it very nice, but it didn't even compare to this one. This one showed up soon after, uh, and it was not for sale when I found it. And I reached out to the owner and asked him what he considered selling it, and he, he said, as they do, everything's for sale. And so about six months later, we came up with a price, and here it is. So we're doing training now, getting ready for the public in the spring. And I can't wait, it's, it is so exciting to take off and land this airplane from water. It's absolutely awesome. So folks can reach out to me, Mike, at 336-701-2139. And that's my cell. If you miss me, I'm out flying the seaplane, leave me a voicemail, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible.